Hello boys and girls. So for writing this week, we are going to be working on a revising skill. That means making our writing sound better. So our role that we're going to be focusing on this week is, or the idea we're going to be focusing on is, when you start every sentence the same way, your writing can sound boring. Okay, I'm going to read that again. When you start every sentence the same way, your writing can sound boring. So I've noticed this in a lot of your writing that you tend to start your sentences very similarly. A lot of the sentences start with the same word. So that's why I chose this lesson for this week. Um, so let's see. It says, read Kaylee's journal entries, answer the question. Then find and fix the interjection that needs correct capitalization and punctuation. We'll talk about interjection in a minute, okay? So let's do the very first thing. Um, read Kaylee's journal entries, answer the question. All right, so what we're going to be doing, we're gonna be, um, we're going to, we're going to read these two journal entries and we're going to choose which one sounds the best okay so this is journal entry a june 10th 2009 we met a new kid in drama club today elijah is from alaska elijah is very tall elijah wants to play paul bunyan in our school play we made sets for the play we went home we had meatloaf for dinner Yuck. Okay, there's one. And this is journal entry number two. June 10th, 2009. Today we met a new kid in drama club. Elijah is from Alaska. He is very tall. Since we are doing Paul Bunyan for the school play, Elijah wants to play Paul. After we made sets for the play, it was time to go home. Do you know what was for dinner? We had meatloaf. Yuck. All right, so the first thing I want you to do, so whatever I'm doing today, you're going to be doing on your assignment, okay? So you're going to have a copy of this, so I want you to have split screens. So you do what I do, okay? So let's look at this. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to highlight Let's see, I want you to highlight all of the first words in each sentence. Okay, so this one starts with we, Elijah, 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 we, we, we. All right, did you notice anything there? I did. All right, let's do the same thing on um, the journal, this journal entry. Today, Elijah, he sends Elijah after do we. What do you notice? What do you notice about selection A? or this journal entry A. I see a lot of the sentences, they either start with we, or actually all of the sentences, they either start with the word we, the pronoun we, or Elijah. Now this one down here, this one sounded much better to me, okay? And if you notice, we did not repeat the same words over and over and over again. So the author varied the words that started each sentence. So what we're going to do is we are going to circle which one we thought was best. Did you think journal entry A sounded better or journal entry B started sounded better? Um, definitely B. It just flowed smoother. It wasn't so short and choppy. If you look at these sentences up here, they're just very short and choppy. Elijah is from Alaska. Elijah is very tall. Um, we went home. We had meatloaf for dinner. Okay. So, um, yes, this one is much better. It flowed much better. It was more interesting to read. This one was just bleh. Okay. So there is 
our first um, look at varying the beginning words, this, the words at the beginning of the sentences. Okay, now I'm going to teach you what this word interjection means right here. It says, oops, there I go again. Um, so the word interjection it says highlight the interjection that needs to be corrected and then correct it. So an interjection is a word like, wow, ouch, really? So an interjection is a word that's used, usually um, ends with a, um, an exclamation point. It's a word that has an exclamation point right afterwards, and it's usually showing strong emotion. So if we look at this first journal entry up here, the word yuck, that is an interjection. Yuck. So it starts with a capital letter, and what do you see? It ends with what? It ends with an exclamation point. Well, I see the word yuck down here, and what do we see? It does not start with a capital letter, and there is no exclamation point afterwards. So we're going to correct it. Okay, so it says highlight the interjection that needs to be corrected, then correct it. So I capitalize this Y and then put an exclamation point after. All right, let's see. Text box. Okay, so this this says why does it sound better? Why does B sound better than A? I want you to answer this question because we just talked about it. So you're going to answer this question. Why does A? I'm sorry, not A. Why does B sound better than A? Why does this journal entry sound better than this journal entry? So I want you to type it right here in the yellow box. Pause the video and then do that and then come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. All right, so the next part of your assignment is it says read the short paragraph. Rewrite the paragraph so the sentences do not begin in the same way. Okay, let's read it. It says, Cynthia wrote a story. Cynthia's story is called Catch That Rat. Cynthia wants Greg to draw pictures for her story. Cynthia wrote a story. Cynthia's story is called Catch That Rat. Cynthia wants Greg to draw pictures for her, for her story. Well, what do I notice about all of these sentences? They all start with Cynthia or Cynthia's. They all start with Cynthia's name. It's so boring. So how can we revise this paragraph and make it sound better and make it where the words do not, the same word does not start every single sentence? How can we do that? Okay, that's gonna be your job. I'm curious to see if you can come up with a way. Now, if you look up here, some of these, if you look up here, what did the author do to, to, to revise this paragraph A? Let's see. Um, right here it says, <clears throat> Elijah wants to play Paul Bunyan in our school play. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one right here. I think this is it. After we made sets for the play, it was time to go home. Okay, what did they do here? So look at these two topics. We made sets for the play, we went home. What did they do? What did the author do right here? After we made sets for the play, it was time to go home. What did they do? What did the author do? They combined those two sentences, didn't they? They combined those two sentences. And so that means we didn't have to have we, we, we over and over again and um, it made it more interesting and made it where the sentences, every sentence wasn't so short and choppy. So could you do that down here? Could you combine two of these sentences here to make it more interesting and make it where the first word in each sentence is not Cynthia? So you are going to insert a text box here.
and rewrite the story. Now, I, I bet you noticed right here we have catch that rat. It's in, it has its capital letters. Each word starts with a capital letter and it's in quotation marks. Why do you think that is? Cynthia wrote a story. story. Cynthia's story is called Catch That Rat. Well, it's the title of a story. It's the title of a book or a story. Okay, so we have, we're looking at titles. We have to capitalize the words and we need to put um, quotation marks around the title. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out to you. All right, that's your assignment for today. Um, I can't wait to see how you fixed these, this last paragraph. Okay, now remember you're not adding more information to this paragraph. You're just working with what we have here, this information that we have here, and you're going to rewrite it where it sounds better. Okay, all right, bye guys.